he has several body of a purpose. Not every purpose no mean it it have been the greatest part of the story. I think that's where it got messed up, man. I think with the surface thing, it's always gotta be. The yeah, it have to be this outlandish great. Inside the money too, fire. Yeah, it's you understand? The money, you know? my son' purpose, for example, yeah. its purpose, you know, was to remind me of mine. Yeah. And now that made me realize that my purpose is to remind you of yours. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. To reconnect to the inner man, yeah. and, and and find that inner man that can reconnect to nature. You know? Yeah. And have that harmony with nature. That is my purpose. It's not some idea of grandeur and some great excellence. That come, that come. Yeah. But it is to say no. Wake up. You know what I mean? I sleep. And my son purpose, I'm on his own purpose to be something we have to do with them. You come and you're dead, then what kind of a, yeah. I heard you in a, um, I heard you in an interview say how you went to another dimension, right? Mm -hmm. And I wanted to ask you, was it through pressure of the situation? They said you hit your head. Yes. Was it pressure for the situation or you really hit your head and went to another dimension? In retrospect, now that you think about it. <sighs> uh, pressure. Pressure. The pressure and the circumstance make me drop down. I want me drop down, lick my head. Yeah. You have people who tell me that they hear the way it loads, it's all like a shot. Yeah. And you pass out. Yeah, yeah, and then when we drop, people are described because I wouldn't know. Yeah. So the way me like the sound when my head make against the concrete. Yeah. I, when we got wasn't like a regular dream. It wasn't here. It wasn't this. Complete different reality. I wonder if it was just safety protecting you from the pressure, you know. Maybe. I don't know if you run down nobody about regarding that. Yeah. Just as ignorant. Yeah, yeah. You understand what I mean? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I know what happened. Yeah, yeah, no, no, exactly. I yeah. know exactly what. I mean, that anybody we can tell this. Yeah, yeah. That, that's sad. That's why I'm gonna talk to most people about it. Yeah. And anybody we can tell, cause me myself in a heart, cause I, I've been experienced something I've, I've never, ever, ever imagined. Yeah. Similar so, I mean, experience. I've experienced something similar when Kara licked me down and tell me little. Yeah. And we go up this tunnel and then we see this. These beings are like 10 foot tall. Yeah. And like one of them basically, I say, not ready for it. Like next one, a rookie. Yeah. <laughs> I met men up a rewind and go back down the tunnel. And yeah. when Kara did me down, I'm going to tell him. Yeah. And I'm going to have him, you know, so me just shut and all kind of man. Yeah. I'm going to drink juice, straw. Some weird things there. You know, but I don't think most of mankind are used most of what. Something happened somewhere along the line of evolution. Way. We're dumb, though. We're dumb, though. We get. We get cornered off, we tie off from a certain part of mental capacity. At some point, this is my speculation towards it. There is something greater to mankind that they are not living in that the, the fullest of their being. The fullest of their of what they come and do. Like myself, this whole concept of lesson. Yeah. It's been like I feel you need so much time and space to kind of quantify what a blessing is. Because too many times people say it's a blessing, it's the worst thing. And you think it's the worst thing, it's a blessing. But through time and understanding, you can see what's what. We come to see blessing to us and next, as we said, just simply, simply, black and white. Good thing. I would say good things as just one thing. You know what I mean? But everything about dual nature. Sometimes it looks like a curse and it's a blessing. Sometimes it looks like a blessing and it's a curse. So we've got to find a different word to call it. And don't just call it blessing. You get me I say? Because we, for example, okay, um, we find that understanding things that most people don't understand. It can be a curse too, at times. When you literally have an understanding and see where that person is around. Not in a condescending, egocentric way, just literally see where this person is around. And only if them just have the courage to do this, what they would have find out. And that is turned against him. You know the wickedest way because most people are like that person. You have the best intention to tell them and turn it into some competition. You knowing this and understanding this intimidate them. How dare you if you tell me, say? You're like you know more me and you go on like say. And you know me not go on like say. If you choose me just really wish you could have just see. Give yourself the chance and the opportunity to see. It's not a pontificating thing, like, oh my god, I'm so high and mighty. 
know what I mean? I want to look how small I do. I want to look how small I do. I want to beat myself. I have one that can see that a negative opinion of myself. You know how much time I do that? Oh, nobody no begs. But if you talk about somebody, for example, where you feel like you pray, or you, or oh, oh, you this, or you that, or you fight against the person, and this and that, then cuss me to you and rate me. Cuss me for beat myself. You must say you rate me, you know. So when I beat myself, cuss me to you know? Obsession with maybe God, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And why can't it just be an experience? Why do we have to put a name on it? Um, for this, me encourage people who don't know to watch my podcast name in the meantime. And at the earliest episodes, I'm explaining the same thing. Yeah, where you ask me, um, they're on YouTube, by the way, for those who want to know. Ego. You know, even them things that we use loosely to the ego and it's like you see because we're egocentric if righteousness would deal with you that devil and the ego how oh, you over your side member the ego fool we say we alone are the most important thing I think we got me everything's about me so everybody else in a freedom culture no 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 so my job is to go make them know something and this is why the war between Christianity and especially Islam is a bloody. A Christianity feast of them, no, you know, and them boy over here, so we don't know if he dead. It. And them literally go to war and kill one another over four view should I interpret reality. Remember that? Here's why. Ego, I'm the one. Nobody not said to themselves, which this is what me said, this is all me know about. Every culture. I experience the same thing in a different way, the same God in a different way, the same grid of consciousness. If you go to China now and say a girl has spray paint her husband and range over and I blick out the window, what do you tell him? Bun. Just like the American girl, just like the Jamaican girl, when they act a certain way, it's universal. Why are we actually universal? Because we all are one universally, despite the outer image. You understand? Different races, different cultures, different ethnicities. It's God's way or the universe's way of experiencing itself in a different way, in a different form. How everybody in the world will be Christian? How everybody in the world will speak English? How everybody will do everything just in a year culture? You know, stop to ask that. That Buddhist, they explain the same thing to you, you know? That, that, is, that, that, that Muslim that explain the same thing, you know. You know, you know, an argument with even your family. And then why you say the thing just like all them say it, and they must say about the same thing to you where you just say. Forget to say me say it. Like ego intimidated. Intimidate people. So when you come up with someone and say, you know, say this exercise, you might meet some people here, they do like they're not here, they deflect, they mm-hmm. ray, and then later them circle with the same thing because you can't get to tell me that. Same argument. You can't come tell me that. Me, I come tell you that. And me think of that by myself. There are people who I ask to pass something. Yo, pass that, give me the brother. To one fool of me under one pressure. You know what man say? Hold on there. It's something right there, honey. And then he said about five minutes, you know. Because he must have decided to pass it, give me, make it impressive. Ego. It functions the same. On every level, you know, everything you can do. It is no different. It just, it just manifests differently, but at the same ego. Christian, if I be a Christian, come now, you're nothing else. I'm not even one day, I want if I show you a talk, you know. Ego. I mean, when you do, I know you, the question I say is like, if you never had that experience with your son, you think you would have ever told now your ego? No. I mean, never even know something in it. This is why I have forgiveness of people. Yeah. I never even know something so immersed tonight. Alright man. I didn't know that. Everything was normal for me. Them boy they attacked that up the road. I'm gonna kill that down there. Warm to them one time I go some boop. And the boy said, I'm just beat him with that one here. I'm just yeah. the reason they made that game. 
the reason. I'm capable of the same thing I'm capable of. If I'm just stop, I'm just relax and just be still. You think so? If you hear the same things. I don't think so. Now I'm going to show you why. And me can't respect you not thinking, sir. Yeah. I want to hear what you have. Here is why I'm saying capable. Um, let's say, for example, my boss. Um, you're you 18 year old, you're just like a college, you're just a high school, and you want to be a surgeon. Right? He wasn't a surgeon. He wasn't a 30 year he wasn't a 30 year old surgeon at 18. Who are you at 18? Somebody who wants to do this, somebody who I imagine with surgeries. Right? Have fear sometimes. Nobody really wants to do it. Sometimes you yeah, get into it, pay appearance, or kill them. <laughs> you waste their money. The first part I do. The first thing I do. The second, then the next little thing, and the more interest you develop in a surgeon. Surgery. The rest I come to you. Nature, one thing, one thought leads to the next thing because you are focused in a particular direction, and more things related to that come to you and it becomes second nature. It becomes second nature. Yeah, yeah one well, editor, right? Yes, all right. How much editor you have in your world? Good at it, I'm bad. And then let's say you never start editing, you don't know none of them, and they're them teach you up editing. But then you start develop an interest in editing, you can reason with anyone of them editor. About editor words or editor concepts. Don't? But they never know it five years ago. Focus. I understand that. Thinking. Part. And it comes to you naturally and you're developing that direction. I'm not saying everything about me will come to a man enough. But the common sense, rounded parts, will come to people, maybe in a different way. If a man have an interest to say, okay, I'm going to be still, I'm going to go in a one direction way. Spiritually, I'm going to try to see that. I mean, let's say you put him on to start thinking that way. Enough of the things that come to you come to them. A lot. A lot of times. Because I just think it's a level of work and commitment, you know? Yeah, people don't want the work yeah. and commitment. That's not say if them do the work and commitment, it's not going to come. Yeah. You get me? Me, me can't hide it right now. Yeah. Like you. Yeah. Like you. But if me say me put me interest to it, you could have start. <laughs> you could have can't touch my level of editing. Nine next six years. Yeah, yeah, follow me. It's, it's all about that, developing an interest and growing in other things related to that come to you. By itself, it becomes nature. The language becomes a part of your nature. It does. <laughs> the last question I gotta ask you this is a two between the fan, right? Yeah. What was the white version you do into the mix? Um Ross Whitey. <laughs> Ross Whitey, right? That, that that was a um, original character. All right. Why did you? Um, what? What? What was the response when you? Do you remember that one where you said you went to Mobile? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. This is This is who's up there. And why are you doing there when he said that dude called Luciano the Judas fight? How did that end up in the conversation? I know they was warned at the time, but yeah. why you throw that in the conversation? Because I mean, these things were happening. You get me? I said that that humorous thing. These yeah. things were a part of the culture. Because at one time when the internet never saw that was that was, that was everything, that was the, the, the gateway, you know, everybody attacked things so, yeah. so there's a lot we have to kinda of increase and, 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 and develop and change and grow on. Anybody ever like said anything to you about that? We share that similar with Ah uh, no, no people that's a matter of telling you know, as I said, we're not like get back to certain things. But then I feel just chat to you. Yeah. And let it write and chat to you. Yeah. You get me? I said, if you know street thing, I understand it in any way at all. Yeah, I know. You have to chat to me. I know you say. You have to chat to you. I don't know, say, oh, I'll be something like him, boy, yeah. Beside that, okay. yeah? yeah. That's, that's, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you have some people love talk about this and talk about it. You have some people quiet from what they can do. Yeah. Me is one of them people. Yeah.